Daybreak is back at 643 and it's hurricane preparedness week. So this morning I'm talking insurance. OK, I know it's not the most exciting topic, but that peace of mind can save. It can save you really big time. Here's what you can do right now. First step, know what is and isn't covered. Aubrey Thomas of USAA explains. Your policy is written in a way that it says everything is covered but. So these are the exclusions, and that is the section that you would probably want to look at. Depending on where you live, you might need up to three different policies to make sure you're fully insured. A general homeowner's insurance policy, something for the wind, and then for rising waters, flood insurance. And if there is property damage or loss, here's one thing you can do now that will help tremendously when you file a claim. We recommend standing in each room and slowly circling with your, with your cell phone camera, taking some video. This helps with inventory in case you have an event, you can establish proof of ownership. All right, and one last note, if you've made renovations or improvements to your home or property, especially during the pandemic, a lot of folks did, you may want to adjust what your coverages are so that that reflects the additional improvements to your property. Remember, guys, you got to get it well in advance of the storms. If you just kind of roll the dice and say, I'll wait till there's a storm and then you try to buy it right before. Yeah. yeah. You won't get covered. That's right. uh, you could be running out, Craig. 